It's time for our May hashtag project. Hello everyone, welcome to Piedra Designs. This week our project is the hashtag project for May from Steve at SK Crafts. The hashtag is textured bowl. Uh, he wanted it limited to nothing bigger than eight inches. Uh, but what we have mounted up on the lathe here is a piece of walnut and it's just slightly under five inches and slightly under three inches tall. And we're going to start turning at about 750 RPM. I think we're ready to do a little bit of sanding on that now. Um, actually got really good cut on there. I think I'm going to start at 120 on that. Okay, so we've got that sanded up to 400 now. And then for the texturing... I'm just going to use my uh, Grizzly version of a Dremel. Uh, and I don't have any actual wood cutting discs. I do have this little, little cut off grinder wheel. And I'm going to, I'm going to texture just some lines going this direction and then some going back this direction. I'm not going to use the indexing system on the lathe. I don't have any platform set up yet to be able to keep everything exactly uh, perpendicular uh, or anything like that right now.
Okay, we'll hit that again really fast with a little 400. Just make sure any fuzzies are off of there. All right, so we've got a couple of coats of sanding sealer on that. And now I'm gonna take a little Joe Sonia turquoise iridescent and paint down into the burn lines on there. I'm not too worried about getting paint up on the rest of it. I can hit that uh, with some 400 grit sandpaper again. I'm sitting here doing this and thinking about even with two coats of that shellac based sanding sealer that we probably still have a little bit of open grain in here that isn't completely sealed up so I thought well why not we'll just paint this whole thing like this and anywhere we do actually have any open grain, this iridescent paint will get in there. And then when we sand everything back, we might just end up with some of that iridescent left in that grain. And might just give it a pretty cool effect so worst case scenario we can hit it again with the bowl gouge and take all of that off I think that's that we're gonna give that some time to dry good and then we'll come back and hit that again with our 400 grit sandpaper get any of that paint off of the top surface and move on from there.
All right, so we got it done. Here's our hashtag textured bowl project for May from Steve at SK Crafts. I'll try to remember to put a link up here to his channel. Uh, we came out at four and a quarter in diameter, uh, just a hair over two and a half inches tall. Uh, there's the bottom all finished up with the logo and everything. Uh, didn't do a whole lot of texturing. I wanted to keep that one really simple. Um, not exactly pleased with how the iridescent paint came out in that. It's all right, I guess, but I think it could have been better. The texture lines I put on there, I, I wanted them to look like what I was doing, which was freehanding it, but freehanding it, trying to make it look symmetrical. And uh, I think we accomplished that. Uh, they're not perfectly symmetrical, but they look like it was attempted to be symmetrical. Anyways, that's the project for this week. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But either way, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that little notification bell. And that way you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And you can check out my successes or failures. From Piedra Designs. Thanks for watching.